What's up, guys? This is Imagine from ECF. I have got the definitive, definitive Rio review. This is from Red Eye Dancer. It is located at riosmods.com. I'll have the link down in the description and all the information that you need to know. I'm going to try to run through this and try to hit all the notes and the bullet points that I have. Um, if I forget some, uh, you can always shoot me an email at imagine1 at gmail.com. That's down there also. So if I miss something, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get it all out there. I received this mod from Red Eye Dancer back in May, around the 20th or so. He sent it to me on a Saturday. I received it on a Monday. Uh, great customer service. The guy said, hey, this, just check this out for review. Uh, strictly for review. Go through the paces. See if you like it. See if you don't. Of course, I said, yeah, I'll try it. I love you know trying these mods out. I'm not going to say no. It's a beautiful, beautiful mod. He's got like nine or ten options on there. Uh, Two-tone woods or the same color. I have a blood wood with a maple or oak, I believe it is. It's extremely beautiful. Uh, very classy. Something you could put up on a desk or put up, you know, you wouldn't be, a, you know, it's not cartoony. Beautiful mod. Hard, hard wood. We're not talking some thin, thick wood. Or thin wood. This is thick wood. I mean, this is not cheap wood. This is extremely thick. That's the whole side of it is the thickness of the wood. Uh, right, and it is a native 801 connection. You can also run, obviously, with an adapter that he sends you adapters for 510 and 901. I have a 510 on there, so an 801 to 510 connection with a drip tip. This is your reservoir, catches your juices. Extremely well made, extremely, I mean, it's sealed completely. I've had this since, like I said, last month. I've, between refilling the bottle and, and having, you know, pumping juice, I've yet to flood or overfill or drip onto the box itself. It's just a well-built made, you know, well-built machine, and it's made perfectly. Uh, I don't really see much I would could improve on. There's not much. I really believe it's, like, like top quality, and, and it's in a league of its own, really. Um, let's do a couple of 18650 hits, and then we'll switch over to 6 volts. I'll show you the inside of the box, and we'll go over the, the feeding system. Obviously, you got a nice, warm, lots of vapor. Great hit at 18650, and 18650 will last you easily. Hardcore vapor, it will last you that day and then some. There's no way. Unless you're, I mean, you, if you're vaping that much, you need to slow down. There's no way. You couldn't, it's hard to kill an 18650. Um, I would definitely say that day and then some. I like to switch them out every other day, or every, you know, I'll use it for the day and then switch to the next day to a fresh battery because I like to have the, the optimal freshness of a brand new battery. Okay, so... Let's go over the juice feeding system. You, in the inside, have a six milliliter bottle. It's connected to a hose. There is a silicone hose that runs down into here. It's not a metal piece. So you are able to pull the bottle up and remove and clean, change your bottles. And it is then connected to a brass tube. I believe it's brass or copper. And it runs up into the bottom of your atomizer. Now coolest part about this is like I said it's juice fed obviously that's really cool but on the door you have a spring loaded button that hits your bottle not only and a lot of us we know this that have the juice fed bottles or juice fed atomizers or juice fed carts mods um, when hitting the bottle it gets harder at times this has been eliminated with a adjustable screw you push the button in Let's see if we can get that on there. And then you're able to back this off and adjust it. So from the very top where it's easy to the very bottom, the last milliliter, it feels the same. It does not go lower and harder. It stays the same. You just adjust the screw and it pushes in there more. It's longer. It's easier to push. Um, I, like I said, yet to have one drip or, or anything. And, the, and I've had this since the 21st or 22nd of last month. Not one drip, nothing. Extremely well built. I'm going to do some six volt hits and then we're going to discuss, uh, you know, before I put the batteries in, I want to show you how clean this is in here. There's, you know, your wiring is, and he actually, he actually grooves out the wiring and pushes it into a groove. Not, it's not sticking out, it's completely in there. Also, oh, I forgot about this, let me just, 
at the top of the mod there is powerful earth magnets that if you live in a dry climate where there's not a lot of moisture wood shrinks so if this door did shrink because you were in a warmer climate you've got extremely powerful uh, earth magnets to keep your door in place but I'm gonna show you right now just how snug this door nothing you know it's extremely extremely snug alright let's do a couple of 18 or this is actually 6 volts now I could sit here all day long like that. Wow. Punches and packs. The, the, the punch it packs is just unreal. What a mod. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm not even joking. It's I have a, a lot of mods at this point. And this is like overtook a lot of my mods. I don't even grab anything out. This is just so awesome. It, it really is. The quality of the wood. I believe you could drop this from a 10 story building. Don't do it, but you could. And it probably would survive. Uh, I could even run this over with my truck and I feel that confident that I probably would not harm this at all. I might break the spring and that's about it. This wood is so thick. We're not talking cheap wood. Alright, and what else did I want to touch on? I think I got, so we got the, the feeding system. 3.7 or 6 volt switchable. You can obviously hit up low resistance atomizers. Uh, 801 native connection colors of the mod price point 128 is the price right now what a deal seriously uh, you get a juice fed six milliliter bottle and a wooden beautiful hand carved crafted box with your choice of colors with an 801 connection with the adapters that he sends you so you can switch to 801 or 801 to 901 to 510 you've got the your base is covered uh, right um, I believe the switch is a, this is the same switch you see in a lot of top quality mods. It's probably, I believe it's not, I'm pretty sure, I think I read it, you said it was a 6 amp switch. Really nice click. Hits every time. Not one misfire since last month. And I've been using this pretty much, I, you know, I'll pick up some other devices here and there, but I've been using this hardcore since the 21st-ish, around there. Uh, not one, not one misfire. On off switch on the bottom, I think I got that though. And it's flushed, everything's flushed, there's no protrusion down there, it's nice. Uh, let's do a couple more hits, and I think that's about it. If I forgot something, please email me, I'll let you know. Um, like I said before, beautiful mod, really well worth it, and it's just so nice. This is like, I try, I'm not going to try to compare because a lot of people get mad if you compare to mods, but what else is there that really does this you know there's I know a lot of people are doing these adjustable voltages and this and that but really when it comes down to it 3.7 and, and 6 volt you can hit on a low resistance atomizer or do whatever you got to do and you've got your juice system all in here but there is one more thing I want to talk about after I do a couple more hits of this and I'll get to that in a second portability it's very, it's got a nice size to it, but it's not humongous. It still fits in my hand, and I have a pretty big, you know, my hands aren't that big. They're, they're good size, but I mean, I can cover it up with my fist just perfectly fine, and it fits comfortably, and I can hit my button, you know, and, and not have a problem. Uh, the spring, if you do put it in your pocket, obviously you can't wear some tight, tight pants and have it in there. It's going to hit the spring. Um, I would recommend, obviously, a, a coat pocket or a shirt pocket. Or even if you had some nice loose cargo shorts in your cargo pocket, which I've done, it, it fits perfect. Um, this thing has become such an all-day awesome vape. It's hard to pull me away from it. I, I have to make myself say, I got other mods. You got to use other mods, but it's a great, great mod. Uh, I want to thank Red Eye Dancer for letting me try this mod. Um, 110%. What an awesome mod. Beautiful craftsmanship. Beautiful mod. If I missed anything, guys, hit me up at imagine1 at gmail.com. I can answer any questions you need to know. Uh, I think I hit all the topics, really. So let me know if you need something, and I'm there for you. Peace, guys.